Well done, well done! It's yours, Tero! Well done, Tero! Better on, better on! Two hands, Tero! Oh, two hands. come on, Rowan and boys! Two hands on the Harley! Well done, well done! Big Fair play! Well done! Get back! Put your Harley in there! Use the Harley! Nice, nice! Well done! In the hands, in the hands! Well done! Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, and then I had a load of Hurleys from Kalioki that I brought down. Yes, That's because right, I yeah. had them. And then you, you, you guys found a load of Hurleys from the embassy, which were. Yeah, I think if you'd never come down with those Hurleys, we probably never would have been. The embassy Hurleys have been there yeah, for many were, years. They, yeah, yeah, they were like kind of like just like yeah. ceremonial. Yeah. Kind of yeah. for, some, for me, it was just something interesting, intriguing about trying this game. It's supposed to be the fastest game. It's supposed to be oh, there's, you have to be so skilled. And I'm like, there's no, no game. I'm no, not because people yeah. think that Irish sports, especially hurling. It's like un unobtainable. Yeah. Is that a word? Well, just Irish people uh, think for, that. For, but how do you feel about it? Because I, I think it's, I think it's rubbish. Uh, we so seem to hold go. it up in this altar, don't we? Like hurling cannot be attained unless you play it since you're in the womb type of thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Which is rubbish. Hit, this yeah. altar. Hit a ball with a stick, you know. It's... But the reality is you can. Yeah, you I, just I have so. to yeah, play it. I'm, and even I'm in the game, you, you played really well like in the swimming. game. Yeah, Swimming needs coordination. Swimming is really hard. And you can drown. And you can drown. Hurling is uh, in Helsinki for the first time today, first game. We've had a club here for 10 years, but we focused on football. And this year we had the equipment available and we got some interested people. And since we think of ourselves first as like community organization, we said, let's try to get on the pitch with this. Uh, maybe it'll get some new members. Maybe it'll make some old members happy. And uh, the, the reception was really great. So we've, we've got a lot of new faces out and a lot of people that are excited to do it. We're a whole range of skill levels, uh, but we're here and we're giving it a, a go. Well, what do you think, Ryan? I think, I think it's about word of mouth, honestly. It's 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 tough to do anything but. I mean, you could show them videos and pictures, but what they have to know is that, oh, there's real people doing it. They're they're like me. They're probably average folks. You know, I could get involved. So when it's you, word of mouth. When you tell your colleagues, started, tell your friends. Like, when you first started playing, what, what was it that kind of you said, all right, I want to go, I want to try this more? What was the kind of the interesting part of it? Um, to be honest, like as a lifelong athlete, not necessarily a good one, but uh, an athlete, I mean, there's something about catching the ball in your bare hand from, I mean, a ball that's hit 60 meters and you're catching it way up top. 
and then and then this the feeling of a good puck when you hit it right and you get that sweet spot there's a vibration and a sound that's just like nice sound and you and then you you know you when you get it wrong a nice and you make you want to keep doing it so you can do it right you know it's a void it's a void it is it is It was a very good game, I have to say. You got lucky on those two or three goals. Guys, yeah. somebody We're very, very lucky. But the main, main thing is, uh, is to, to play the game, is it? The, the main thing, the main uh, thing is to enjoy the game, enjoy the yeah. history, Bally's enjoy the culture. The history is being made here outside Helsinki. This was my first game playing hurling. I'm not a hurler, but uh, or comedy player, but I'll definitely keep it up, and it was good fun. For Sligo is a hurling stronghold. Uh, we're not really strong at anything, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll be the ones who take down America, I tell you. Oh, someday, oh, someday. Yeah. <laughs> we come down here, I wanted him to have the crack at it. And I wanted to have a lash at it as well. So we have a set of these up the up the, up in Nokia where we live. We, we puck it around in the fields with the dogs. And it turns out this fella's a little bit better than me. So we came down to have a, have a crack at it. Brilliant crack, great fun. Well, I was one of the, not the very first people to play in Helsinki Harps, but one of, one of the first uh, generation maybe. And uh, coming from background in Mayo, this is Gaelic football is our main sport in Ireland. Uh, Ronan here was born in Helsinki. He was always coming to training since he was about 11 or 12 years old uh, with the guys in Harps. And for about the last three years, he's been playing, haven't you, I think, in, in, the, in the Winter League and um, I'd say in general it's been so great to be able to develop as a Gaelic player without ever having played uh, in Ireland. Uh, getting, you know, in Helsinki we have a lot of really excellent players who come and go, uh, but there's always a challenge, there's always people willing to share their experiences, uh, give tips on, on good play and, and so on. So, um, I don't know, I, I think I've kept going playing beyond I might have stopped <laughs> so that we'd have a chance to play together someday and it's really you know, it's a, it's a really nice thing to see Ronan growing up uh, outside of Ireland, but being a really good Gaelic football player. Where do we see the future of all this going? Yeah, well, that's in your territory now as our newly elected hurling Precious officer. Precious for tires there, Dan. <laughs> 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 Where's it going, Dan? Uh, the, future, the future is um, uh, that we're going to keep gathering more players together. We're playing here right in the center of Helsinki at the minute. Uh, uh, so we get people pop, uh, who are walking past, who get interested. So we just keep getting more and more people interested. We got about, what, maybe five or six new players today. Just today That's alone. Right. And One we're just going we're just gonna to keep doing that. And then 15 at the training today. So, yeah. yeah. And then we'll organize from time to time, we'll have like proper games where we have helmets on and we kind of do a bit more of the stuff like that. And we just keep going. And then the, the real test of when we've made it is when we're going to like compete against another hurling team from another country. Or maybe yes. back home. Yeah. And I, I back home, and I think that every time we have the Helsinki Sevens tournament, yeah. we always incorporate a game of hurling into that tournament. So it's no yeah. longer just yeah. a football, it's yeah. going to be now written in stone football and hurling exactly. tournament. The club with, the, yeah. with the goal of getting people to maybe go to one of those bigger games in Europe, even next season. Yeah. yeah. Are we coming come back next week then? Yeah. We'll be yeah. here on Saturdays. Yeah. We're all right. Back. Hey, guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's cut it. Let's cut it. All right.